Right, if you've ever tried to measure around your everyday bramble, bush, branches, and in my case, junk in your back garden, then there is this. That is something that is going to drastically speed up the process and make your life a lot easier. Um, okay, right, that wasn't supposed to happen. I'm never going to win against mother nature fighting against it. So anyways, the thing is, I am walking along, measuring this space just fine. Then all of a sudden it's like, whoa, look at this. I cannot get to the fence line, the boundary, because if you can just look in here, you can see that there are brambles, bushes, branches all in the way. But here is the thing, obstacles are not a problem for Mosier One crashing through the undergrowth with my measuring tape or my wheel is going to take a lot of work and my laser will need line of sight but check this out I'll start again all I need to do with Moja 1 is walk around the obstacle which in this case is the rose bush like so and where I see an opportunity I can place Moja 1 just there against the fence line to capture a pause point and using straight line pads the previous pause point which is over there is connected to this one which is in there in a straight line I don't need line of sight you saw me take or walk the long way around and a straight line was drawn between the two pause points you can see the measurement on the diagram on the drawing on the screen as well so I'm going to pick up Mosier again walk around here and if I cannot make it to the fence line in six to eight seconds or I don't fancy getting in a tangle with mother nature again I can simply place the device down anywhere capturing a pause point and ignore these unwanted points afterwards which will cause my drawing to snap to the boundary line let me show you after the measurement how we actually do that so we have an opportunity actually just let me go in here make our way in here I don't want to lose you on we have an opportunity to get another point let me just place them there I've not disappeared here I am another opportunity to place the Moja one at the boundary line without getting shredded by thorns and I just about made that but just a note look at this there is no way I'm going to get an accurate measurement via Google Earth underneath all of this cover anyway let's sidestep this which would you believe is a tree house behind me duck dive and jive underneath the undergrowth Actually, I'm not going to make it to the next point, so I'm just going to chill and place uh, Mosier 1 down, let it capture the point, and we can ignore this point also later on. Let's capture the point. Let's go to the back fence, the back perimeter, place it down, let it capture a point. And now you'll notice that there is an unwanted diagonal line drawn on screen from the last pause point, which is all the way over that way, as well as other ignore points, but again, Mosier has another feature of measuring around obstacles. Thing is, if I capture at least two points on the last boundary line, which were all the Brambles Wharf, which runs into that corner that the treehouse sits on, and at least two points along the boundary line on this back fence, which I'm doing now, I can join these two lines up at the corner using the extrapolate corner tool. Again, I'm going to show you this at the end. The whole drawing looks higgledy piggledy as I jump in between the junk debris foliage but I promise I'm going to make sense of this for you at the end so let's fast forward I've just managed to place Mojo 1 down here in the corner now I am just about slim enough to squeeze through the gap which is right behind me with this nimble little measuring device but why give myself the heartache I'm just going to walk around the garden room capturing pause points every six to eight seconds. There's no need to rush. I can just chill. Now I'm going to fast forward for you and capture all the points all over the rest of the garden. Right, can I get in here? Yes, we can. Notice that when you're as small and nimble as Mosier 1 and I, you can fit into all the places that heavy duty equipment perhaps can't but notice as well swing around here 
how I'm going handheld with the Moja One device and that is because if I was using a stick it's going to get caught and swing around in all of the branches and bushes that I am coming across. Plus I don't really have as much control in that scenario. There's no actually right or wrong, whatever you think best for yourself. Okay, place it down here and we're done. And to be honest, this drawing looks like my dog has been chasing its tail around the garden at high speed. But everything is about to change and be transformed using the Ignore Point 2. Let's go set up and have a look at it. Okay, we're back. Before I do anything else, please make a note of the total area and the total perimeter. So this point is where I walked around the rose bush and with a straight line path selected during the measurement, a straight line has been drawn straight through the obstacle outlining the fence. Moving along, I am going to select the unwanted, this unwanted point, tap the edit icon just there at the bottom of the navigation bar and look what happens when I select the ignore point option. The points before and after join together in a straight line. So let's repeat the process for the next point. And before I make an adjustment to this diagonal line, I'll just tidy up the rest of the garden using the ignore points feature. Notice the perimeter and the total area is adjusting as I go through the process. However, like I mentioned earlier, not only can Moja One ignore points, it can also do this. Do you remember? Uh, here is where I encountered the big tree house under that magnolia tree. There was no way I could move that structure or squeeze down in along the side of it or measure that corner due to the tree house sitting on that corner. However, because I captured two points on each boundary line, just here and back there, now all I need to do is select that corner on, if, on my diagram, select edit, select the extrapolate corner tool, the two boundary lines run into and join up at the corner as if the tree house, the tree branches brambles were not there to pose me any problems. We have now got an accurate representation of that particular area along with the ignore points tool we've established a true representation of the whole garden area with the correct numbers for total perimeter and the total area. Using Mojo One I was able to do all of this without even getting a scratch. Well, maybe a few. Actually, do you know what? There is one more thing, and I'll be quick as you may find this useful. Most corners, as we very well know, are not exactly bang on 90 degrees, whether that's in our house, our garden, or elsewhere. It's just the way it is, but perhaps you would like or need them to be for the purposes of let's say landscape design as an example. Mosier has within reach of your fingertips a square up tool which will allow you to adjust the angles in your drawings. In other words, corners that are almost 90 degrees will be adjusted to 90 degrees. So here is how it works. I'm going to tap on edit, tap on square up, select your desired square up intensity and we have low, medium, and high, and I'm gonna choose medium. And let's see what happens when I do that. The corners start to adjust to 90 degrees. The crooked lines straighten out. So let's try high. You can see again a subtle yet more pronounced way in which the corner snapped to 90 degrees and the whole drawing is squared up. Or another way to use the square up tool is the auto square up option, which means the next time you measure the square up tool will automatically square up your drawing. So I'm going to tap on settings in the cog wheel which is top right hand corner there of the screen, tap on the measuring options and in the auto edit section we can turn on off the auto square up option of your choosing and I will choose high because the higher the strength the more likely a corner will be straightened up to 90 or 180 degrees and the result is a drawing which is fine-tuned and refined for the design process with just a few taps within the Mojo app.